I want to get your reaction specifically to, again, all the updated information that we're getting out of Israel. Yeah, so we just got a brief this morning on what was going on over there. Uh, one thing that really impressed me, whether you're being an ER doctor or just somebody who witnesses horrible things, this is pure evil. Not only was that unprovoked, uh, and I'm sure they would dispute that, but you cannot dispute beheading babies. Mm. You cannot dispute raping women. You cannot dispute the evilness, the pure evilness of this. Uh, there is no forgiveness for this. There is no punishment too harsh for this. Uh, everything that happens from this point on is on their heads. Uh, I hope they realize that as we go forward. We should never forget that uh, when you're dealing with pure evil, there is no force too great. And I hope as a military, we bring it. Congressman, I want to switch gears here right now. Talk about the speaker vote uh, from what we're being told. It's most likely going to be Steve Scalise, but there could be a potential fight brewing. Jim Jordan has said he's not going to kind of lay down and just let this go. Uh, what, what do you think? Well, I've heard conflicting reports. I know that he met with Scalise in an office and that he is maybe going to nominate him, but I haven't heard that from his mouth. Uh, one thing that concerned me from the very beginning, I've been very clear in the conference, we should have conference before we go to the House floor. It makes sense to me. I, I'm, just, I'm just a Marine. I'm a simple guy. Uh, but if you're going to go out in front of the, the public, if you're going to have this debate publicly, I don't want to hear about Jeffries over and over again. I don't want to hear how unified they are and how broken we are. I want to make sure we as a conference come out swinging together and that we've unified behind one candidate. And I hope that happens before we go to the floor.